in vabi našega naslednjega gosta, in sicer je to dr. Werner Drobeš, univerzitetni profesor z Univerze Alta Adria v Celovcu, od leta zgodovinar in germanist, od leta 1980 do 1988 je bil tudi učitelj na gimnaziji v Celovcu in usporedno seveda doktorski študent. Od leta 1988 dalje je dela na zgodovinskem inštitutu univerze v Celovcu in je tudi član Avstrijske akademije znakosti, tako da ga vabim, torej zdaj, da predstavi svoj referat, ki ga bo predstavil v angliškem jeziku. Jaz upam, da to seveda ni nobeno za drega za nas poslušalce in dr. Werner Drobeš, beseda je vaša. Hvala lepa. Deutsche Schulverein, German School Association in Provincia, from 14. At the beginning of the 1880s, when the national political confrontation had grown into a mass movement, the peaceful national coexistence in German Slovenian areas of settlement began to disintegrate, therefore, political powers that no longer supported moderate nationalistic sentiments became increasingly significant. This proliferation of national nationalistic groups resulted in major ethnical clashes and nationalistic conflicts began to dominate the political agenda. The institutional base of this mass mobilization was provided by associations clubs and societies. In this broad spectrum of societies and associations of the national movement, school associations became key organizations in the struggle for a national <coughs> Propertied bourgeoisie, education was perceived as a crucial instrument. In the early 1880s, a wave, a wave of foundation of school associations among the peoples of the Habsburg monarchy was set in motion. The impetus was provided by the foundation of the German association, the Deutsche Schulverein. One year later, the Czech Ustredny Matrice Scholzka was established, followed by the Slovenian Druszpa Svetega Zirlidin Metoda and at the beginning of the 90s, the Italian Lega Nazionale. Also, in its foundation phase, the Deutsche Schulverein had been a moderately nationalistic association. Its ideological orientation was changing progressively when the next three decades. At least since 1900, the organization has been developed into a radical German national organization, which by 1914 
has become one of the most active and largest associations within the German nationalist movement. Influenced by Georg George von Schönerer ideas, whose school association called Schulverein für Deutsche had become a major competitor. The Deutsche Schulverein became the figurehead of ban journalism, of anti-Semitism and anti-clericalism. The instrumentalization of school, especially elementary schools, was obvious. A quote. If the education of the use of compulsory school age is conducted with regard to Germanic loyalty, we of maintaining the Germanity of this place. End of the quote. By means of the Schulfein teacher, the receptiveness of children for fanatical band journalism was awakened at an early stage of life. As stated in the official regulations for teachers of the German school associations, the so-called Schulverein teacher had to, I quote, consider the folkish educational aspects of schooling in each subject and to take appropriate deficit measures in case of imminent danger threatening German equus. End of the quote. The activities of the Schulfein, however, did not only affect the educational sector, but also covered other non-educational events, as spheres, including cultural and folklore events, slide lectures on national topics, national social and literary evening, evenings, as well as folkish commemorations for Richard, for Richard Wagner, Otto von Bismarck, or Robert Hamlet. These numerous activities did not only aim at pressing, preserving German folklore and cultural artifacts, but also served another important purpose. The development of the Deutsche Schulfeier in Kalinzia therefore has to be considered with this organizational and ideological framework. In 1881, the first Schulfein local group was cited in Beljak, Villach. In the following years, a network of local groups was established regularly. Until 1914, the official association statistics report the foundation of uh, 52 local groups. In the first phase, from 1880 to 1890, the priority areas of new foundations were multilingual settlement zones, preferably places such as Schwarzenbach Schirmer, where the majority of people spoke Slovenian. In 1880, in Trinna, Schwarzenbach, 441 people, inhabitants, stated Slovenian as their conversional language, whereas only 53 people stated German as their first language. Foundations in areas with a high preparation of German speaking, apart from Salot, 
Klaus Klagenfurt and Peri Aktila remain expulsional in the first phase. The area in which new foundations took place ranges from the southeast of Croatia up to the southwest to the lower Silja Valley. It has to be mentioned that the establishment of local groups occurred in different intensities. The first boom in the 1880s was 17 new foundations was followed by a drop in the 1890s when only five local groups were established. At the beginning of the 20th century, a new phase of euphoria commenced. From 1900 to 1914, 30, 30 local groups <coughs> in the 1890s are accepted. Georg von Schöneres Organisation, Schul für ein für Deutsche, and his radical ideology of Germanity had put uh, an influence on the Carinthian local organizations of the Deutsche Schulverein, as it did on the state level. Only when the local groups included Schöneres ideological principles in their program, this association flourished again. The increase in the number of local groups was accompanied by an increase in the number of members. In the year 1881, 247 members, 1,900 2,450 members and 1,912, 9,070 hundred members. Over 50% of the members were spread over the districts Zelots, Klagenfurt and Beljak Fila. Yet, even in Velikovets, Völkermarkt, which holds a high proportion of Slovenian-speaking residents, the Deutsche Schulverein counted 900 uh, members. Even so, in terms of absolute numbers, the Deutsche Schulverein in Carinthia could not compete with other popular provinces, Bohemia, Lower Austria, Asturia, the local groups formed an important building block regarding Germanization. To them, as mentioned before, schooling was a mean to an end. I would like to quote from the report of the activities of the Corinthian States Association of the year 1930. I quote, Above all, above all, we are to provide support in organizing the schooling system for our German notional comrades in linguistic in place. End of the quote. Their slogan to the outside world calls for a protection of the German property bourgeoisie from its support. Slovenian interpretation. This, however, did not imply passive acts of defense, but the exact opposite. To strengthen, to strengthen the position of the German-speaking population against the Slovenian-speaking population, especially in those places and villages where Slovenian speakers account for a majority. This was the expansion of a deliberated policy of Germanization within and outside the schooling sector. The primary 
goal was the ablation of the utopistic schools and the accusation of public status for the Deutsche Schulverein schools. This strategy is documented in the report of activities of the year 1930. I quote, Yet, for many years, such support is only granted in exchange for promissory notes in which the municipal council thank you, bids oneself to refund uh, the support. If the language of destruction is changed in favor of the German language. In this way, the conversion of input records into poor Slovenian school indeed in the interest of Germanity. Because, quote, I quote, the German language as hitherto had to remain the means of communication between the two ethnic groups. End of the quote. Parallel to the activities of the Association Südbach, ever since its foundation, the Association propagated a policy of supporting schooling in multilingual areas. Or, as in the case of Budi uh, Javas, Bürgersdorf, stop the, initi the initiatives of the Slovenian School Association in establishing their own school. The achievement of the goal was supported by the regional government. In 1910, it was summarized. I quote, until now, 1910, 1910, I quote, until now, Carinthia owes a lot to the Deutsche Schulfein. It supported the schooling system and Slovenian frontier communes with German, German minorities by means of significant sums and thus strengthened the German language in these communities. End of the quote. Even more, in cooperation with other German national associations and through the support of regional politics, schools with Slovenian working language were not only pressed into deficit, but even remarkable changes in favor of the German lingua franca were uh, achieved. August von Wattawa completely registered this occurrence in an association magazine. They quote, yet the biggest achievements for the German common language can be observed in multilingual areas. In her numbers were obtained, they clearly proved those people right who claim that the Corinthian rural population is not only Germanophilic, but also firmly expresses this attitude. If they are left uninfluenced by Slovenian dictators and exposed to the German cultural influences. <coughs> The same author states, in case, in case of an unchanging development, the slaves, he meant the Slovenes, will lose the majority in the Slovenian center in the district Fiala Borovlje in 1920. He wrote this in 19. Certain. I follow. Then, the even third piece of Slovenian land, the southeast of the region, the southeast of the region, which by now only slow 
only gives into German influences will lose its residence. End of the quote. Thus, the order had already defined the objectives for the near future. Regarding the implementation of the objectives, World War I only caused, caused an interruption of the process. In organizational as well as ideological terms, all future developments were built on the foundations uh, eight later before World, I, World War I. But the history of the Deutsche Schulheim past 1918, that after joining forces with the Association Südmark in 1925, was renamed Deutsche Schulverein Südmark, is a history of its own. Yes. In view of the lateness uh, of the hour, uh, it is not possible to further elaborate on this topic. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.